we are going to look at a pretty unique reaction uh, that's rather beautiful in this video. And it's basically burning copper ions with hydrogen. I ran across this on a Russian chemistry channel. And uh, thankfully it had some subtitles so I could make out a little bit about what was going on. For our materials, we need one 500 milliliter round bottom flask, copper sulfate, five grams. And I have an earlier video on how to make this. There's actually a lot of them online. I'm sure you can find it if you're looking. Um, we need a 15% hydrochloric acid solution, 40 milliliters, and we need some aluminum foil around 0.6 to 0.7 grams, somewhere in there that's rolled. And what I mean by rolled is, you know, like this, so you can stick it in the top of that round bottom flask there. The chemical reaction goes as follows. We're going to have the copper sulfate, the hydrochloric acid, and the aluminum all in the bottom in the flask, and I'll go over in the method exactly how to do that. And each one of these, of course, has a positive or negative charge in their ions. When you add these together, you'll end up with copper chloride, hydrogen gas, and aluminum sulfate. This is not a balanced equation, but I just want to go over this so you understand it. So the copper ions are going to be released, the sulfate ions stay in solution, the hydrogen ions will be released, and the chlorine ions will be released, and the aluminum will stay in solution. So what we have is the copper ions and the hydrogen mixed together while it's burning, and therefore we are burning copper ions with hydrogen. Now the chlorine, even though it's going to come out of solution somewhat, does not impart any color to the flame that we're going to be making here. And an example for that is sodium chloride or salt. If you burn it, you get a bright yellow flame that comes completely from the sodium. The chlorine in this example here doesn't impart any color whatsoever. The method of doing this is really straightforward. Put in your five grams of copper sulfate, pour in your 40 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, kind of swish it around gently to get this go the reaction going somewhat, and then drop your aluminum foil in, which will release the hydrogen. And again, kind of swirl it gently. And as this all gets mixed together, as I said, you're gonna end up with the copper and hydrogen in the surrounding area here. And you wanna light this with the flame, and the flame may go into this and gently burn, or it may just burn off the top here. But either way, you end up with a really pretty, kind of unique blue-green flame that sort of wafts about inside of here. So I'm talking about this, and let's go do it. I have the five grams here of copper sulfate pre-measured. I'll be adding here to this round bottom flask. And then the 40 milliliters of 15% hydrochloric acid. And you'll notice that you'll get sort of a greenish blue color, more green than blue, I guess, in there. And I'm just going to swirl that around a little bit. I'm now going to add the little rod of aluminum. And you really have to wait until the uh, aluminum starts to fizz. And you can see it there. Okay. Burning copper ions with hydrogen. Pretty cool looking, isn't it? burning out I think yeah it is okay hope you enjoyed very straightforward but it's pretty cool uh, to watch those flames